Hey guys, Florin here. In this tutorial, we are going to build this pulse effect using CSS3 animations. This is one of my most viewed article on my blog, so apparently Google is recommending it to people. That means that people are searching for it. So let's learn how to do it. All right, so here we have an almost empty Kotlin project. I just added some styles for the body, a background color, and I made it display flex with the height and remove the margin so everything will be in the center. First, in the HTML, we're going to add, have a div with a class of circle so we can target into the CSS. You can add another class or have a span element or whatever you want. Next, in the CSS, let's style this circle. First, let's give it a width and a height, in this case 40 pixels. And next, let's add it a background color. I have here an RGB color. The reason I chose RGBA is because I want to play around with the alpha channel, so this value, the fourth value. Now let's make it border radius 50% to make it circle. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the CSS of the circle. We just need to add an animation. And the animation name, let's make it pulse uh, for two seconds and it should run an infinite amount of time. Let's de define the pulse keyframes and it will have three steps 0%, 70%, and 100%. And we'll play around with two properties with the transform scale and with the box shadow. First, let's do the transform scale. So initially, we want transform scale to be 0 0.9. So it will be sh smaller initially and also at the 100% step. And in here at the 70%, it will be one. So basically we want it to grow for 70% of the time and then shrink back 30% of the time. So this will give this effect of a pulse for the circle. All right, and next we are going to play around with the box shadow. So initially it will be zero for all the four values and we're going to use this color, this red color, a set for the background color. And it will be 0 0.7 for the, for the alpha channel. At 70% it will be 10 pixel for the spread. So basically it will grow 10 pixels. But at the same time we want to remove the alpha channel to 0. So you can see here we already can see the effect. The circle is growing and behind it we have the box shadow which is growing for 70% of the time and at the same time it loses visibility by reducing the opacity to zero. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for the animation. Uh, next you can play around with the size of the circle. Let's make it bigger, 100 pixels with 100 pixels. So it can be really big. Also with the spread here on the box set shadow. So now it's really obvious. Or you can make it real tiny with 10 pixels and let's say 5 pixels here for the spread. Something like that. Depends on, on your use case, depending on where you want to place it on your website. And also we can change the color. Let's see if we, can, we go to flat UI colors and find another color. For example, this green, we want the RGBA value. We copy it and then here we replace this color with the green ver version and here also. But let's don't forget to change the alpha. And here also it, at the end. Something like that. And now we have the green. Let's uh, change it back to our original size. Alright, now you have it green. You can play around with 
whatever colors you want or maybe you want multiple colors in the article you can see that I have seven or eight colors yeah so that's pretty much it as I said this is a simple tutorial with a nice effect using CSS animations let me know in the comments if you have any questions also let me know if you have any suggestions for my future videos let me know if you liked it if you did like it give it a like and subscribe for more videos from my channel and i see you in the next video thank you for watching bye